Wheat prices continued their downward trend this week. Joining us now is Kim Anderson, our grain marketing specialist. And Kim, start by telling us what's going on. Well, as you said, uh, wheat prices are, are going lower. Uh, we talked uh, last week about if the, that July contract broke uh, $6.50. Our, our next target that we had weak support at $6.37, uh, that the price target was probably $6. Right now, it's looking like that will probably be the case. Uh, that early next week, if we stay below that 637, then I think six dollars is where we're going to see that July contract going in the next few weeks. And it's my understanding uh, corn is playing into some of these price changes as well. Oh, without a doubt. Uh, you know, we talked about corn is king. Corn was king when corn stocks were tight and they were ho and and rel and corn prices relatively high. With anticipation of just abundance of corn, an early corn crop, it's still king. Uh, we the market was expecting a significant amount of wheat to be fed, especially uh, uh, feed lots, uh, feed mills buying it directly off the farm. With it look like corn new crop may come on the market three, four weeks uh, ahead of expectations. That's going to reduce the amount of wheat that's fed and that's going to have a negative impact on our prices. It seems like every week we hear some financial news out of Europe that's still playing in as well. Right. And this week it was Spain. You know, they've got problems and, and they're going to have to have some support. I think that's, pro that's probably factored in our wheat price already, but it is supporting the, the value of the dollar. And as the dollar of the value stays up, that makes our wheat more expensive relative to, say, Australian wheat. And we've been talking about this price trend for a while. Do you think it's going to continue between now and harvest? Yeah, I think it's going to continue. You know, I've been predicting 575 uh, in mid-June uh, since last August. That's got the uh, Kansas City Board of Trade July contract around six and a quarter, somewhere in that vicinity. Uh, that may be high if we have the large wheat crop and the early large corn crop. Uh, cash prices could be 550 or lower as we get into harvest. We'll just have to see what happens. And with all of that in mind, your last word of advice for producers? I, I was taught in marketing, once the boats left the dock, it's hard to jump from there to the boat without drowning. So if I hadn't done anything yet, I probably wouldn't. If I was really worried, I'm, I'd look at buying a call option contract on that July Kansas City contract. Okay, appreciate the advice. Kim Anderson, thank you. We'll see you next week.